We're going glamping! Woo! <laughs> Morning guys. Well actually it's not even morning anymore, is it? Today me and Harvey are going glamping in Wales um, to celebrate our anniversary. It's our anniversary on Wednesday. Three years we've been together. What a joyful three. What one? What painful. painful three years. He's so mean to me guys. But yeah, it's our three year anniversary on Wednesday. So rather than us going on holiday this year, we decided to go glamping because we're obviously going traveling. So we're like, I don't think we really need to spend more money on a holiday when we're already spending loads of money when we go traveling. So yeah, we thought we'd do something a little different and go glamping. We're currently just pulling into a service station because the drive is very long. It's like four hours and we've so far done about an hour of it <laughs> and are already bored. So we're pulling into services to get a cushion from KFC because we did actually have a KFC when we set off and the cushion machine was broken. So we we're like, oh, maybe we'll just get one on the way down. And we've had an hour into our journey and we now want the cushion. So that is what we're doing. This is the hut that we're staying in. This is Hallie's hut. And if you come in, I'll give you guys a little room tour before it gets really messy. But this is what it looks like. We've got a little gorgeous light green kitchen area. And we also got given some Prosecco and a little welcome basket as well. So there's like milk and then I think pastries and bread underneath, which is perfect because we haven't actually been to the shop yet. And it is actually Bank Holiday Monday. So we've realized that we probably might not be able to get to the shop this evening, but you can actually order Uber Eats here, which is great for this evening. But yeah, we've just got all the facilities that we would need in this door. We have the bathroom. So we've got some robes on the doors and then obviously toilet, shower. Look how nice the shower is. Obviously you've got your sink and your mirror. This is actually quite a big bathroom for like a little hut. When I've been in ones before, they're not this spacious. So this is actually like luxury. And then we've got the bed. Look how cozy it looks with all the fairy lights. And it's also these cushions actually have bees on them, which I think is so cute. And then you come round, you've got a little table, a sofa area, which we can chill. You've got a TV as well. And then obviously like a dining table. They actually do have a visitor's guest book, which loads of people have obviously filled out from their previous experiences. And they also leave recommendations. So that'll be a good thing to have a little read of and see where we can go whilst we're here. There she comes down. We have a hot tub, which also has loads of fairy lights around it, but obviously it's not dark right now, so they're not lit up. So I'll show you that a little bit later when it is. We've got a fire and we've also got a pizza oven as well. So this is like the barbecue pizza area. These are the gorgeous views that we have for whilst we're here. Then we also have a Halley's Hut little bar area, which is super cute. Again, obviously this is a neon sign, so when it gets a bit darker, this will all light up. You just press this button. Over here, we've got drinks in the fridge, which are all complimentary, I believe. And yeah, just some really nice decor. Obviously you've got a little surfer out here as well. But yeah, this is absolutely stunning. Not sure what we're gonna do this evening exactly. So of course Harvey came. <laughs> <laughs> and open this but we've realized there's actually a bar of galaxy in there we've got croissants and then a loaf of bread Some and that jam. bread smells incredible mm, it smells really fresh it does does Come it smell. feel fresh <laughs> we can smell it guys <laughs> then croissants are smell great. Mm. So guys, we made a quick little pit stop at Co-op because it was the only shop that's pretty much open with it being Bank Holiday Monday. We just got some stuff for breakfast and we decided that we're going to order a Chinese tonight because there's a Chinese <laughs> recommendation in like the little booklet that is left. So that's what we're going to get. So guys, Chinese. <laughs> I didn't even get it. <laughs> oh, we just did a little happy dance because the food is so... We ordered Chinese. I don't know if I mentioned earlier that we were ordering Chinese. So we got salt and pepper chips. I got some satay chicken. We got salt and pepper chicken. How we got beef chow mein. We got prawn crackers and a few other things. So yeah, we're going to enjoy this. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm so excited. <laughs> is it nice? Mm. Mm. 
plated up my Chinese. Mm -mm -mm. It is all delicious. I've kind of been eating little bits as I've been playing it up. It just smells so nice. How's yours? Banging. Banging. You glad I got the salt and pepper chicken now? Yeah, <laughs> morning guys it is now the next day we've woken up that was honestly probably one of the best night's sleeps i've had in the longest time like when we first got here we thought oh the bed looks quite small like it feels like we're going to be on top of each other but it was actually so cozy and me and harvey both said that we actually had the best night's sleep in a while so that was great but we've woken up we're just about to make some breakfast and then we're gonna head into town and maybe go to like zip world or do the tobogganing i really want to do that because everybody keeps suggesting that and yeah we'll just show you what we get up to really we've got a full day here today and then obviously we've got a full day tomorrow as well but tomorrow we will have to drive up to newcastle so we shall see what we get done today it's only a small area where we're staying we're staying in landidno i think that's how you say it i really don't know obviously it's welsh so when welsh people say it it actually sounds completely different but when i googled it the translation or the pronunciation should i say was landidno so I'm going to guess that that's what it's called. But I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, correct me. But yeah, that is like the area that we're staying in. So it's only small and there's obviously not that much to do here. Like I had very mixed comments from people. People were either like there's nothing to do here or people were just suggesting like the same things over and over again. And we actually did have a little read of the guest book yesterday of people's like recommendations for whilst they've been here. And it's all very much similar things and like the same things. So it's very clear that even though there's not a lot to do, the things that you can do are probably worth doing. Like I say, Harvey's making a kickstart on the breakfast. I'm very hungry, so I'm excited for this. We are pan frying sausages though, which I'm a bit nervous about. That is normal to pan fry a sausage. <laughs> I was just scared I was going to get food poisoning. I was like, can you? Can fry them, it doesn't sound the best that you can. Well, everyone in the comments saying how stupid you are. Well, <laughs> maybe I am stupid. Well, I've pan fried um, heck sausages, like chicken sausages. sausages. But it just doesn't say on the back that you can, so that's what scared me. But anyway, we'll see how well this breakfast goes because we actually only have two hobs, so it might be a bit difficult to fit anything wrong, but we'll make it work, I'm sure. <laughs> It's actually a really big castle. Me and Harry were saying the last time when we went on a glamping trip, we went and visited a castle and it was tiny and it wasn't open. This one is actually open, so you can actually walk around it and like go up into different parts. But it looks so nice. Well, you do have to pay to come in here. I think it was like £11.70 each, um, which obviously helps with the restoration of the castle. We're gonna try and go up at the top because there's some people up there and up there. So we found a model of what it used to look like. So 
we're currently queuing to go in the world's smallest house. It is tiny. Hence the smallest. Hence the smallest. But this is the queue. Oh, yeah, we're unsure how long it's going to take because obviously the house is only small. But we've been sitting here maybe about three minutes three so minutes. far. And we've not moved. I'm sure it'll be long there. So we shall see how long this takes and what is actually inside the world's smallest house because it doesn't even look like it could actually physically be a house. Can't, definitely doesn't have a double bed. Yeah, no. We finally made it. We've been waiting like 30 minutes. We're now in the house. So this is downstairs. There's not really much room. And there's the bedroom. So we've come into a looking glass ice cream parlour. One of you guys actually recommended this for us. And originally I was just going to get ice cream because I was kind of craving some ice cream. But I have actually decided that I'm going to get a crepe as well as ice cream. So I decided to get a crepe with Nutella and strawberries. And then there was a cherry chocolate cheesecake ice cream up on display. So I'm going to get a scoop of that. And then I think Harvey's getting a waffle with like two scoops of ice cream and then whatever other things that he said he wanted I can't remember what he said but I'll let you know what it looks like when it comes I'm really excited it smells so good and it's actually really busy in here as well so that's always a good sign because you know it means that people wanted to come back we noticed as well they actually have little guess who boards that you can play and they put like other board games as well which is quite fun so maybe we'll have a game so it has arrived oh my god it looks that's incredible this is what harvey got which one's banging the, uh, the cheesecake the cheesecake one i knew it'd be a good ice cream my ice cream's actually like inside but oh my god i'm so excited for this yeah god i have actually tried mine yet though <laughs> oh it just tastes like chocolate ice cream to me try mine Mmm. That was now come to do the toboggan and also the tubing this is obviously the toboggan track and then the tubing is over there so we've got tickets for bluff we've got to do the tubing first because apparently there's a really long queue for the toboggan or someone's coming down on the toboggan now it actually goes quite solid doesn't it <laughs> now the next day yesterday i think i stopped the vlog around the time that we were queuing up for the toboggan um i'm not really too sure we did the tubes at like the ski resort sort of thing and then we went down to queue for the toboggan and now the lady said to us that the queue for the toboggan would have been an hour which we were like yeah that's fine like we don't mind queuing we were queuing for an hour and we didn't move a single bit like i think three people went on in that hour like three different people because basically you get two rides with the toboggan so rather than them getting off they go again and i actually timed how long each ride of the toboggan takes and it takes about five minutes minimum because i didn't actually see the person come back before i left and i'd got to five minutes so it takes roughly about five minutes for one girl which means it takes roughly about 10 minutes for two girls per person and there was about 30 people in front of us maybe even more so 30 times 10 is 300 300 minutes divided by 60 is five which means we would have been waiting five hours to be able to go on this toboggan and bearing in mind it was getting later and later and later so we went up and asked the woman if we could actually change our toboggan ride to today instead because we just didn't want to wait five hours like we really wanted to go on it but we didn't want to wait that long so the woman said it was fine and that we can change it to today so we're going back today however it has rained last night so we're unsure if we'll actually be able to go on it because the toboggan only runs in dry weather and now it is dry now 
but obviously the toboggan track sort of like dips so we don't actually know if the water will still be settling in the toboggan track and that'll mean that we won't be able to go on it so we shall see because we are still going to go because like I say we have bought the ticket and we would like to go on it um, but I'm just unsure and I also don't even know if I'll be able to film it anyway because there's signs everywhere saying that you can't film whilst on it because obviously you've got to operate the toboggan um, but I was hoping that I could film it so never mind but like I said we've woken up today it's our last day we're literally going to be checking out in like 20 minutes i'm not sure what the time is currently um so we're just packing up all of our stuff it's actually mine and harvey's anniversary today so that is fun uh, we've been together for three years now and yeah i didn't actually vlog anything else yesterday i've just realized i've gone completely off track of what i was saying what i was getting to was the fact that i hadn't vlogged yesterday evening because i actually ended up being sick last night which obviously wasn't a vibe um but yeah i ended up throwing up last night and being in extreme pain with my belly i think i definitely have an intolerance to something uh, i'm still yet to figure out what it is um because the amount of pain that i was in last night with my stomach and then throwing up whilst sat on the toilet because i physically couldn't move thinking something was wrong so yeah slay and i also have a massive cold sore on my lip so I'm just really thriving right now. Um, but that also means I can't even give Harvey a kiss. And it's our anniversary. So that's just a big slip. How do you feel about that, babe? Oh, well. I can't give you a kiss on our anniversary. It's sad. I I'm good that we're having to go. I really wish we could stay another night. Because it is just super cosy in that bed. It's so comfy. Like, I've had some of the best nights sleep. And I'm not even just saying that either. Like, I wear an aura ring, which tracks my sleep. And I've only woken up three times throughout the night whilst I've been here, which is a new record because the previous few nights I've been waking up like 11 times during the night. So going from 11 to 3, you can see I've actually had a decent night's sleep. So yeah, but anyway, gonna stop rambling. Need to pack up the rest of my stuff. I'm actually gonna quickly write in this book with some things to do. So if anyone does happen to stay in Hallie's hut over the next few years. You may see mine and Harvey's little entry into here. I actually had Shan Mooney message me whilst we've been here and say that she's actually stayed here before, but she stayed in Woody's Watch, which is literally next door. But I was like, how weird would it be if we actually have stayed in the exact same one? Um, but yeah, so maybe Shan has wrote in this book, but for Woody's Watch, because I imagine she would write something um, we're lucky that we actually had a pen. I mean, we could have gone and asked them. God, there's so many, so many reviews to get through. Aha, here we go. This is us. So I'm going to go ahead and pack this. And it's, I mean, I won't bore you with the details. But if you do come, then you might see our names in the book. So guys, we're now in the car. We did go to the toboggan. However, we actually decided to get refunded because the queue is actually longer now than it was yesterday and we really did not want to have to wait like several hours to go on the toboggan as much fun as it probably would have been we just didn't want to have to wait that long so we're now going to go to the Orm I don't know if that's how you say it the Great Orm it's like a walking point kind of area not really too sure what's there the one thing I will say about Landidna is there is no service anywhere I mean there is service that like you can send text but 3G data wi-fi nowhere to be seen like we literally cannot go on anything ever like it is so difficult to navigate if you don't know your way around babe that is a roundabout <laughs> but yes yeah, so that is one thing to know if you do come here the service is absolutely shocking it reminds me so much of blackpool because blackpool is very much the same in the sense that you have no data or service and they also have like a pier and like fun activities to do like it kind of gives like blackpool vibes here um but yeah so we're gonna go there 